national semifinal. Well, you saw Duke at its absolute. Dukies, baby! Oh, are you serious? Dukies are going to win the national championship, baby! Oh, they got Cheyenne Singler! Oh, they're going to win it all, baby! Oh, they got the Dukies! Dick, please. We'll hear it from you enough. Haven't you given us enough? You don't have to remind us of everything. Shut up, man. Please, for all of our sakes. <laughs> what up, TTC? Sun Snero 6 here. Sorry, let me just turn down the TV. Uh, yeah. Pretty much, you already know. Duke's in the final, in the championship game. And I'm calling it right now. They're going to win the national championship. They're going to be too much for Butler. I'm just saying that right now. Butler had a great run. They beat my orange. They beat K State and they beat Michigan State. Their runs ending against against Duke. I mean, there's just no way. I mean, they're not gonna be able to drive it inside. Zubek is just too much of a force, and Shire and Singler are just too hot from three. I'm hoping that Butler can make it again, but still, I just don't see it happening. And unfortunately, for all you Duke haters out there, including me. Be prepared to brace yourself for every for following things. First, every fake Duke fan is going to come out of the woodwork and is going to say that, Oh, we told you so. Oh, yeah, man. Go Duke. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I mean, seriously, every fake Duke fan. I'm not knocking any real Duke fans, okay? Any real Duke fans, Duke alumni, Duke students who may see this? Okay, I'm not knocking you guys. You guys are great fans. It's all the fake Duke fans I can't stand. Because they always claim that they've been true fans. They're just a bunch of front runners. For instance, that guy on football on the plans. He's a perfect example. And a uh, big shout out to Big Dog 54 for for uh, pointing that out because he's a definite two teamer, and we don't like that here in the TTC. In addition, since Duke will probably win the national championship, I'm just going to say be prepared to hear Dickie V cream his pants about about Duke and about Coach K every five seconds. And we're also Big East fans. You're not going to like this. He's going to start saying, oh, the ACC is the best conference. Go right back to where he started from. We're talking about Duke UNC, Duke UNC, Duke UNC. I mean, it's going to be painful. It's going to be awful, but we're going to have to deal with it. Okay? And uh, to West Virginia fans out there, thank you for representing the Big East so valiantly. Okay? I said it after I was at a party. I said it after West Virginia beat Kentucky. At least at least one Big East team had their shit together. And that was the Mountaineers. And you guys are a great team. You have a great coach. I mean, you guys deserve to be in the Final Four. And I'll say it again, you were the only Big East team that had its shit together. So congrats to the Mountaineers on a great season. I look forward to seeing you guys battle us. It's a great rivalry. And, you know... You guys have great fans, so congrats to West Virginia. And uh, shout out another shout out tonight to my friend Ricky McPherson. And uh, Ricky's one of the truest Q's fans I know. He's a great dude, and I just want to say, yeah, I'm, I, I know, I know how you feel, man. It, it's gonna suck, Duke. I hate them. You hate them. We all hate them. Seriously, be prepared. Is the next few weeks are going to suck because just Duke's probably going to win. Anyway, that's it for me. I just thought I'd make a comment about that. This is Sunsnero 6. Have a good night, everybody. Happy Easter. Peace.